Hello, I'm Chuck Folt, South Alabama Home Inspections, and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. Uh, I figured I'd do a short video on this particular issue I've come, come across. Uh, this light does not work uh, despite the breaker being on, uh, the light switch also being in the on position, and there's a few receptacles in this room also that don't work. And so what it is is there's a loose connection somewhere in the wiring and it could be anywhere it could even be in the fixture itself and so this is a little bit of subjective way of how I went about finding this problem and so one thing I can see around the corner uh, I'm gonna leave the light switch in the on position you know so that way I can you know know when it comes back on and so I've already found the particular outlet uh, where the wiring is loose so let's just go straight to it and what I did is I took a, just a, a heavy duty cord and plugged it in each outlet and just wiggled it around you can actually hear it crackling it's, it's what's happening it's arcing against the box in there and so the light has come back on and there we go and this is uh, kind of a, a reason to point out as well why arc fault breakers are important because, you know, even though I wiggled that uh, cord and got it to reactivate, it didn't trip the breaker. And so that's what arc fault breakers do. They're there for protection for that type of issue. And if you have a newer home, uh, more than likely it, it should have arc fault breakers uh, in your panel. Uh, so at this point here, what needs to happen is that uh, loose connection in that outlet needs to be corrected because it's a fire hazard and it should be done by a qualified electrician as well if you don't have the skill sets to do that and like I say it's a little bit of a subjective way of finding that problem too uh, so I hope this has been somewhat informative to you and thanks for taking the time to watch it as well